All right, I didn't do anything nearly as exciting with that as my week. I played a lot of player on Battlegrounds, but that's you guys know that. That's now the most popular game ever. Ever now. Which is absurd. Mm-hmm. I heard they're banning a ton of people now. Yeah, they do that. It's, the, more, it's more popular than Lawbreakers. The, it's definitely more popular than Battleborn, which yeah. is that on the docket this week? Wooly? Hello. There's a good Battleborn story. Wooly. Mm, yeah. Yeah. It is? Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, it's there. <laughs> <laughs> And that's that. I'm so glad I felt what you were throwing at me there. And I that's say, I was that. Gonna, I was, my my lead-in was going to be, you know what's better than having not People to play your game? toxicity? Oh. When you have no one Silence, playing your game. The sounds of fucking so, dust and I'm not ghosts. sure if it's in this article. <laughs> <laughs> dust and ghosts. I love it. I'm not sure if it's in this article, but you didn't catch the wind that this was being reported on now, but the game actually died like four days ago. <laughs> no, I didn't and know. And no one noticed. But also, the servers are still up, so you can still play right. it. La- what game are what? we talking about, gang? Battle. Lawbreakers. Battle. No, but Lawbreakers is two weeks from Dawn of yeah. Born. Battleborn is dead. Borderlands. It lasted 15 months. Borderlands. <laughs> Professor what Black. Laugh, what do you love? Every at? time you kill a xenomorph, the dying sound effect is the xenomorph going, Borderlands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's old. That's a, that's a while ago. Oh, shit. Borderlands. Um, <laughs> Anyway, so here's what's up. Um, Gearbox is not getting... Uh, Gearbox is not updating Battleborn anymore. Nope. After this autumn, that's it. All hands on deck for the new Borderlands. Uh, it's been a long ride. You know, they... If, it they, hasn't been. They, <laughs> it's, been a, it's been a couple Literally months. Literally been a short ride. It's been a couple months. They've, uh, sta- they've fought off the free-to-play for a while. And uh, a year and a half later, they, you know, they gave in. And then... Uh, Says the servers will be up and active for the foreseeable yeah, future. Yeah, you can still log in and play. Which means Battleborn will remain playable, but for how long? Battleborn is here to stay, Varnell stressed. So here's so, so it's not dead because they're shutting the servers down. It's, it's just dead that you They're not making it. They're not doing anything else. They, to it. The developers are dropping it as well as everyone that was playing it. It's officially being so, you know, what's really inter- sunset. Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, what's really interesting to me about Battleborn about is the same thing that's interesting to me about Evolve where when people saw the game immediately they went how long until it goes free to play, right? Because there was no faith in this game, right? Yeah. And then, of course, both of those games eventually did go free to play. But it was too fucking late because they were known to be disasters. And not, nothing that could have been done at that point could have saved them. Yeah. And all I can think of is like... This is the first footage I've seen. You might have actually had like a really a lot better shot had you gone free to play from the start. Instead of retrofitting it much later down the road that's that's not what their design wanted but yeah that's that's true um and you would have had characters. you would have had people that because first of all again like talking to uh people that's pl- played it like i got the impression that it's like it it feels different and from over once in the sense that you're playing like half an hour games at of times course because it's like mobile like but um, you would have definitely gotten a bunch of people that were like, oh, man, I feel like playing Overwatch, but I don't have the money for it. And then they'll be like, fuck it, I'll go try this free thing. Yeah, Paladins. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Battle, or Battle Right. Yeah. Or Battle Right. Oh, my God. L- lunches are being eaten. <laughs> it's, it's, it's fucking... <laughs> God. Like you're, you are, there is you're, no room left at this well, table. You're, you're completely right. <laughs> but the answer to that question is Paladins. Oh, Jesus. There's, and that's the same problem. That, there's nowhere to sit. That's the same problem there's Lawbreakers no ran into. Sit. I'm holding my tray that's with my food on it, and there's nowhere, nowhere, to there's nowhere to sit. Where do I sit? Nowhere. So I just throw my lunch in the garbage. So then. probably the weirdest thing about all this shit is if you look at Randy Pitchford's Twitter, one, he's a crazy person, but two... Yeah. When he talks about what the team is working on, it's like, yeah, nine percent of the studio has been moved on to the thing that you all just obviously want us to be working on. That thing that you want, and he doesn't actually say Borderlands. He doesn't say it, but like, 
Yeah. Colonial Marines too. As somebody this who, highly anticipated but unannounced. As game. as recent as I recently played through Borderlands two with a bunch of friends. Yeah, those games are fantastic and they're the best things Gearbox ever made. Yeah. And everything they made other than that was either a moderate okay game or like a baffling giant failure. So yeah, how about you go back to making Borderlands games? Yeah, but even then, they made so many Borderlands spinoffs and weird things. They made three. The, but no, there's that other one that okay. Remember the one the, the pre sequel. Yeah, that game. That game's bad. That's the third Borderlands game. I'm thinking of it's tech, else. Yeah, it's like I, I'm, it's I'm confusing it with the Handsome Jack pack, which is just the, the two the and two, two and pre sequel. No, it's, and then it's two and pre sequel, not one. Don't forget about the Telltale. Yeah, which That's, is apparently quite good. It is. Well, we played it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so don't night. pour forty out for mm-hmm. this. It's all so you know what's really good. interesting to me. A game like Good this, night, Sweet Prince. you have to give it at least a year, right? Because if you drop it immediately, people don't have faith for your next game, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but Gearbox is like an established company with a lot of games are under its belt. Whatever the fuck, uh, Boss Key Productions, Boss Key, uh, by Cliffy B, they don't. So, how long are they going to keep the Lawbreakers? You you boat saw afloat? you no, you saw that that recent uh, they actually. Talked to Cliffy B like a few days ago. Yeah, I did. I you did. saw he's like, yeah, it's actually pretty humbling. So we got it. So he's like, we're going to keep making content and try to improve it. Yeah, mm-hmm. we got to get that player base. You up. need you need twelve months minimum. Yep, twelve months minimum. You, you can't you're not, turn you're not around gonna, in a year. You're not going to turn around. Not getting away with anything below that. Yeah, and if you or and, you got to do the Final Fantasy fourteen thing of <laughs> fuck it all. Yeah, yeah, close it all down and start new. <laughs> all those characters died. Here's some new ones. <laughs> yeah, everybody who bought this one, yeah, all twelve of you, you get it's, the free copy of the next one. But uh, it's like the Street Fighter thing of that tournament didn't count. Yeah, that was. This just, is the real one. That was just wandering. Now- <laughs> <laughs> you thought it was fights. Yeah, I know. Like Lawbreakers too. It's just the the, the wanderlust. Charlie of these- didn't die last time. He died this time. Uh, it's just wandering. Lawbreakers two just so wondering. I'm re- I'm really glad that Lawbreakers came out and then Battleborn died so that we always have like a easy to one go. in the pocket. There's always an easy game to go for t- as a punching bag for low player numbers as a punchline. Yeah, that's good. Got to punch that, that low hanging fruit. Hey, player unknown battlegrounds finally hit 1.3 million people concurrently. It's the most popular game ever. What do you think about that, Randy? <laughs> Cliffy. <laughs> Oh, Randy doesn't want to answer these conversations anymore. Let's no, go he, talk to Cliff. He disappeared in a puff of, of of smoke that steals your money. Yeah. Well, we all know that it's about the iconic PUBG character designs. That's clearly what people are That's in That's so for. crazy, huh? That, like, it's like, oh, it's all about the hero shooter. Everyone wants hero shooters. The blandest the looking blandest game I've ever, ever seen. Because it's good. I couldn't even make myself, dude. In the video, You're not allowed. Well, like, I could. I, I tried. I, like you didn't see allowed. me try and make myself, but there's no hair. Like I, you can't make a and redhead I'm, with a beard it's, or it's, any it's, hair. It's just assholes and like it's like five guys, and, like, and I'm masks. just like or girls, and I'm just like you know I don't need fucking Def Jam fight for New York. I don't need NBA 2K16. You do. I just need <laughs> like not a fro. Is that okay? No. How's that going to feel for guys like Randy and Cliffy and everybody on their team that they made all these painstaking love characters, designs, and this big game system, and then the game that's basically a Daisy mod is like the most popular The game. word <laughs> is anguish. <laughs> I, because 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 you know why? Because the Battleborn and Lawbreakers are like, let's just do the same thing everyone else is doing, and it's like but even, different, bit slightly different. Whereas like PUBG is just kind of like it. Day, like Daisy was weird in that it was obscure but really well known. Yeah, it wasn't mainstream, so this just kind of blew up out of nowhere. Honestly, the the PUBG's rise reminds me a lot of when I. To talk to people about this new game they were playing called Counter Strike. It reminds yeah, it yeah. reminds me a lot of that feeling. Because Counter Strike is again, you're like nobodies. You're just you're Counter Strike looks like terrorists shit. and yeah. fucking whatever, not terrorists. Yeah, Mer. you you die and that's it. I remember that being the most mind blowing shit ever. 
Like what? Why would I play a game in which I only get to play for like a minute and exactly. then I have, to, I have to wait out the whole round? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. Um, you play Day Defeat. You respawn in that game. 